I noticed there's a lot of AI focus in the, this coming version of Visual Studio. Can you speak to some of those features as well? Part of being an IDE means that you know you get everything in the box, right? You you get Test Explorer, you get you know a way to run and debug and profile your apps. It's all like in the box, right? Yeah. Um, and the first feature we were kind of rolling in for that is the profiler agent. But what the profiler does, it allows uh, Visual Studio to instrument your code and then run it. And that instrumentation is there to help measure uh, and find out what are the hot paths in your code. Like where do where do memory leaks come from? What are expensive method calls or what lines of code takes a long time to execute and so on and so forth. And the profiler will give you that information. So now you can see like flame charts and you can see hot paths and you can see that particular line of code was called this many times and it took this long. And so, but many people don't do that. But even if you did, how would you then know how to optimize the performance? It, you just, it just tells you, hey, you have this line of code that is problematic mm-hmm. or expensive, mm-hmm. but what are you going to do with that knowledge? So what the profiler engine can, uh, agent can do is that it can come in and it can add benchmarks around in your code and give a very clear, have a very clear understanding of what's going on. And then it will suggest you to you how to fix it. And it'll give you a plan saying, hey, here's the things that I think we should do. Should we go ahead and do it? And then, and because you're you're always in control here, so you steer it. You say yes, or you say, hey, I, d- I don't understand that fix you're proposing, so don't do that. I don't want stuff in my code that I don't understand myself. So what it allows me to do is that I can now learn alongside the copilot, the profiler en- uh, agent. So I can tell it, no, do it in a way that, try to come up with something else a different way to solve this particular one. But I agree with the other ones you did. You can go ahead and do those while you give me a, a new suggestion for, for for that thing I didn't understand. And so you can go back and forth. And when you're happy with it, you can just have it executed. It. This is fantastic because this is a door that was closed to me before. I, could, I did not know how to open the door into profiling and performance tuning on a low level. It was simply just not something I was capable of. So now... That door is open for the first time. I like to I like to you know be a little dramatic and say it makes the impossible possible. It also helps me learn and understand how different choices in my program, how different programming techniques and different types in the in .NET, for instance, if I use different types, how that could speed up and and make better performance. And so I learn something. I get better. So next time I get to a situation like that where I was going to use a you know a dictionary, I can now use a hash set instead or something. And so I think that's magical. The whole doors being opened and I learn and get better myself. 